All right, guys, it is opening weekend of NCAA football. I'm watching some Duke and Temple on the big screen outside in our outdoor pavilion. Um, I still haven't, um, still haven't like debuted this thing yet, but uh, once we get our turf done, a little sneak peek, we've got artificial turf throughout the whole yard. Once we get that turf done and finalized, the teams nailed down and glued, we'll be doing a uh, full episode on our backyard renovation. We've done a ton of work at the house. So this is a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, as you can see in the background, we got our big green egg here. It's a double XL with our mini max, which is our outdoor kitchen area. We got a bar. But here is the star of this weekend. And this is, I don't even know, like a 15 pound brisket or something like that. But it is massive. Definitely not a 10. I mean, to give you some, let me see. Here's a, hell, I don't even know. It's just, it's huge. That's a massive brisket. We got the egg setting up for a smoke overnight. And uh, I'm gonna be probably cooking it around 200 degrees. And then tomorrow morning, we'll start bringing the temp up. SPG beef rub. You see back here on the back, says right there sea salt black pepper garlic organic cane sugar and spices we're going to check this out i got this at the ace hardware in niceville and then we're going to be using going to be using some uh post oak 100 natural smoking wood okay what we got going on here we did our charcoal chimney I've put my, uh, I've got like a homemade deflector, we'll say. I've got a XL plate deflector that Mr. Brent let me borrow. And then I just set that on a stand, which that's a cast iron uh, camping stand for cast iron pots in the woods. So I always just turn that on the side, set that in there. I'm gonna put the plate setter on top once I get the wood loaded up. Okay, so I got the oak wood loaded in there. I have never done a long smoke like this before. So I've got my coal base in there and then my wood. Again, we're doing this on the double XL, smoking the big daddy brisket, about 15 pound brisket. We're gonna see how it turns out. Okay, so just so you can see, I got the plate setter in, got my grate in there. I've got my water. It's going to be keeping the moisture on this thing. We're going to close this baby down and let's get her to temp about 200 degrees overnight because I don't want to get this thing too hot. So we're going to try to get it right at 200 and smoke this for about 12 hours. All right, everybody. It is uh, 1 o'clock on Friday. We are five hours into smoking this 15 pound brisket. And uh, it's looking absolutely amazing. We're gonna let this thing go until six or seven in the morning. We're gonna pull it off, check the temperature. Uh, we're looking for a 175 temp. And once it reaches that, we are going to pull it off, wrap it, and then put it back on the egg and uh, wait for it to get 203. So like I said, we're using the double XL green egg. We got our water pan in the back. We got a 13 to 15 pound brisket. And it is looking absolutely gorgeous. So here it is. Like I said, it's one o'clock in the morning on Friday. Uh, I'm about to shut this thing down and make sure it settles in. And then we're gonna go to bed and wake up bright and early at 5 a.m. See y'all, bye. All right, good morning. It is uh, 5.45 Saturday morning. I have a little visitor with me. But brisket has been smoking all night long. 
grill held at perfect temperature at 200. And the internal temperature is about 175 right now. So we're gonna pull it off and wrap it and put it back on the grill. College football officially starts today. Okay, the brisket <coughs> is off the grill. We got it prepped and ready for the wrap. And we're about to pour some apple juice all over the brisket. Why? So that's gonna give it even more flavor. I'm gonna let you do that, okay? Okay, one at a time. All right, Adley, go ahead. Apple juice the brisket. Again, we're gonna put. What if they think there's no apple juice? Say again. What if they think there um? What if they think there's no just grass? Um. All the way up here. the apple juice out we're gonna be we're gonna be wrapping it completely okay the brisket is wrapped we're gonna wait till that internal temperature hits the perfect 203 we got it on the double XL green egg I got my helper with me it is now six o'clock in the morning Adley has a first battle wound. Got some fresh brisket juice on her stock. We'll check back in here shortly. All right, guys, we are closing in on exactly where we need to be. I know that's kind of reversed for you, but it's 199.2. Everything that I've read online is 203 is the magic number. This thing has been on the grill nonstop, double XL green egg since six o'clock Friday evening it is 10 o'clock Saturday and the egg still has plenty of fuel left down there so I'm super excited after this once we pull it off we're gonna be putting it into the cooler to rest for God knows how long I think it's at least an hour but serving temperature is 145 degrees okay the brisket is off it's in the cooler resting. We're gonna wait until it hits a 145 temperature. Serve, you can see the juices. All right, so again, the brisket is in the cooler, it's resting. We wanna get it to 145 degrees. Great thing about this egg, this Joker, the double XL, has been, uh, Fired up and going since last night at six. I just opened up the top bin. Now we're climbing to 300. And that's because we got some Koneka sausage on there and some appetizers. And while we're waiting on this brisket, and then we're also gonna be having some hot dogs. Look at that. It's gonna be beautiful. It's a great day. College football's back, baby. <laughs> We currently have the brisket being done. Check it out. Look at the finished product. How tender is it? Mm. Oh. Try Zach's meat. Hey, buddy. 